On the line, the chair and co-owner of Melbourne Victory, who's been defending the club, of course, Jeff Lord. Good morning. Morning, Neil. How are you doing? I'm OK. Is that Good. sort of uh, chant acceptable? Oh, uh, well, I think the language may or may not be. I don't, didn't even catch it, to be honest. They but said they are chanting, all cops are bastards. No, all I don't, cops. Well, OK. I don't think that's acceptable, no. OK, well, that's, I'm afraid this is the reputation your supporters are getting. Well, I think it's not uh, confined to our supporters, and, uh, and I think, again, you have to put some things in perspective. But uh, obviously, uh, any behaviour that breaks a law is um, not acceptable. Well, 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 we've got here a very senior and respected policeman saying that soccer fans are the most vile of any sports code, and oh, he wants well, crisis yeah. talks about it. Yeah, I think they ought to have talks, and I'd, I'd encourage the talks, and I think uh, the club is actually entering into talks with both the FFA, the fans themselves, and the police. But, you know, when you make a statement like that, or when a statement like that is made, I haven't seen the article, incidentally, but, uh, but when a statement like that is made, you'd be aware that 105 people were ejected from the 2020 match the other night of the cricket. How many uh, were there? Uh, how many were there? 20,000. Okay, and how and many were evicted from the last victory game? Uh, none. Sure. To my knowledge, none. Oh, but okay. I, I, that's, that, that would be my knowledge. Uh, I, I could stand to be corrected, but none. And, uh, when, was, know, when was the last game? The most recent game, when was it? I think two weeks ago. Okay. I'm not, Is that the one on the 30th? I'm not sure, Neil. Because exactly. those, those people chanting on the 30th, all cops are bastards, are chanting because a victory fan was uh, handcuffed and thrown out. Right, well, then that's one, then. So you've made well, I don't know, maybe there's more. I, I, that's why I'm asking I, you. You're I, quoting the, the cricket figures at me. What are the soccer figures? I don't know, Neil. Well, how can you quote the cricket figures, then? Well, because it's publicly. All public right, knowledge. well, let's get the soccer figures. How OK, many... let's get them. Let's get them, and then we can both talk objectively Well, about you're the them. one who's raised it. It's your club. No, 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 I said 105 people were ejected. Yes, and I said, how many minutes. ejected, how many victory fans ejected? I don't know. Over let's What's get the, the size of the let's crowd? Let's get the number and we'll, then we can talk about it objectively. But uh, look, bad behaviour is not to be tolerated. And uh, any behaviour that breaks the law is, is not condoned. And in fact, people who break the law deserve the punishment that they get for breaking the law. So nobody uh, condones that. The club is concerned where, where uh, laws are broken or where fan behaviour is unruly. I think um, the only point I would make is that I do believe the game uh, um, is better for the passion and the colour that fans bring to the game. Now, that's not condoning unacceptable behaviour, but I do think that there is a lot of colour and a lot of passion among the fans and I do believe that the bulk of Melbourne Victory fans are, are very good. Oh, sure they are. And, uh, you know, we have over 30,000 uh, fans, and um, I would say that the ejection rate for the whole year, or over the six years, has been uh, less than a number of sports. Very experienced and well-respected police officer in this town, Superintendent Rod Wilson. He's on the line. Good morning. Uh, good morning, Neil. Is this problem uh, specific to Melbourne victory in soccer? Uh, we say that it is. Um, we say that um, a lot of the issues that we're seeing or we're experiencing when we police uh, these particular games are coming from uh, small elements of the victory supporter club, uh, not the whole club. Mm -hmm. I want to stress that, Neil, and I've stressed that all along. This is not about soccer supporters in general. This is about small elements of the victory supporter base that we are raising as an issue for us as a, as a policing organisation. What's behind it? Why is it going on? Um, I don't think there's any ethnic base to this, as, as has been suggested to me. Uh, I think it's a, a group of people, of young men, who have uh, obviously formed into this particular supporter groups who um, I, I don't think, to be honest with you, have any genuine interest in the game. They're there to... Um, uh, taunt rival spectators at matches. Um, they're there to completely uh, disrespect the police officers that we, we send along to police the event. And all we want to do, and all I've said all along, is I want to get with victory, and I want to get with the Football Federation of, Victoria, uh, of Australia. We just want to sort out a way that we can stop this type of behaviour. We can make the event a safe place for people to go to and a safe place for our police officers to police. Well, is Victory happy to do that? Because Jeff Lord kept talking cricket figures at me and saying, you know, Melbourne Heart had to be involved. Is Victor's Victory management recognise that there is a Victory-specific problem? 
Um, well, Victory Management, uh, I'm not sure if they recognise if they, that they have a specific problem, but we've raised our concerns with them and they're prepared to come and talk to us next week. Uh, and we want them to come and talk to us because we've got a new season that'll kick off uh, next year. Um, we've got an opportunity to get it right. Let's set the ground rules. Let's set the parameters. And uh, let's make sure that everybody's singing off the one hymn him sheet here. Has this got worse over recent time? I did have a caller telling me that he, he's taken his eight-year-old son for some time and now his son says, I just don't, can't handle it anymore because it's too nasty. Has, has it got worse? I think it has got worse over the recent weeks and some of the stats that I've been reading uh, about our police officers uh, who have sustained injuries at the, at, the, um, uh, at the games. They've talked about a sort of a pack mentality with some groups of the supporters. Bottles are thrown, flares discharged. Um, you know, one game we evicted 24 people and these are only coming out of relatively small crowds, Neil. So there is an issue with um, some elements of the supporter base and we need to get on top of it. It's interesting, you've evicted 24 people. The, uh, the club told me probably over their whole history, six or seven had been evicted, and that's one game you've evicted 24. Yes. What, are the, what sort of, you said statistics, what sort of statistics are you seeing in injuries? I had a policeman's wife call in earlier and say that he'd been badly bitten at a game two weeks ago. Correct, and there are charges pending out of that, Neil, oh, okay. so I probably can't say too much about that. Um, the people are arrested for that particular event. Good. What about what are your statistics showing? Are, are police regularly injured in some way? Police regularly being injured, uh, uh, taunted, um, you know, uh, a complete lack of respect to the police officers that work the event, um, a complete lack of respect um, by some elements of the uh, Victory supporter base, especially towards other supporters. Um, and, and, and a lot of that is just, in my view, unacceptable crowd behaviour. I, I don't see it at other events, and I've policed every major event in the city so far, personally. So I, I'm not seeing this level of um, uh, supporter abuse, as, as I said, and these are coming from small elements of the uh, Victory supporter base. I'm not saying in any way that this is uh, the, the, the entire uh, no, Victory supporter base. These are people that, that, that Victory and ourselves and the Football Federation, the governing body need to crack down on and we need to eliminate from this sport. You're not seeing this at the football or the cricket or anything else? I'm not seeing it at the football. I, I was the operations commander for both um, AFL grand finals and our evictions for a crowd of nearly 100,000 people were less than 10 and there were no issues, no assaults. Um, um, so, you know, all I'm saying is that we've got to do something about this and I'm sure that victory... You know, if they, if, because we've got a, um, as I said, going to meet them next week, um, we'll certainly be putting our case forward to them and we would hope okay. that they would come on board.